The sister of convicted four-time killer Nico Jenkins will now do time for murder. Today, a jury found Erica Jenkins guilty in the shooting death of one of Nico's victims, Curtis Bradford. KMTV Action 3 News senior reporter Jake Wasikowski joins us live from the Douglas County Courthouse with the latest. Jake. Jen, prosecutors say that it was actually Erica Jenkins who was motivated to kill Curtis Bradford because Nico and Curtis were seemingly friends. Now, Bradford's mother says her questions are now answered. An emotional mother of Curtis Bradford, gratified but sorrowed. Her son's killer, Erica Jenkins, is held responsible for his murder. A jury took about four hours to find Jenkins guilty of first-degree murder and two gun charges. Baby didn't need to die like that. I got a lot of answers. A lot of questions. Only one remains. And I just have to leave that be. Let God take care of me. The night of August 18th, 2013, Erica, her brother Nico, and Bradford went to commit a robbery, but instead it was a setup. The high point rifle he carried was unloaded by Nico. Erica shot Bradford in the back of the head with a revolver near 18th and Clark. Nico then blasts him in the head with a shotgun. Erica wanted to kill Bradford because she believed his friends from Camden Block shot up her house in February 2013. It, it was all about Erica and her motive. She had the, the beef with Curtis and that group and she wanted to send a message. Erica's sisters, Lori Sales and Melanie Jenkins and her cousin Brian Easterling testified for the state saying that she admitted to the killing, even providing grisly details about how she was excited but disappointed Nico took her first kill. Thank you to those witnesses because that wasn't an easy task for them to do what they did. God bless them too. The defense argued Erica's family had lots to game, namely keeping themselves out of jail. Judging by the jury's decision, they didn't buy it. We're obviously disappointed uh, with the result. Um, we respect the process, but uh, I'm certain my client's going to be very disappointed in this. Um, we've said from the beginning that she was not guilty. Of, she maintains that. And I were in court for almost every minute of this trial. Erica Jenkins actually wasn't here at all, not even here for the verdict. Now, prosecutors say that they will now focus on the next trial for Erica Jenkins, which is in connection to the Andrea Kruger murder, and starts Later this month, the defense says that they plan to appeal this conviction. Reporting live from the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.